Hey everyone, so this is going to be part 2 of our witch hunt game series, so in the last part we created a movement with our character instead of this box which is representing the barrier and in this part we're basically adding collision to the barrier so when we hit it we're not actually going to go outside we're also going to create a witch um, which is just going to spawn at a random area every three seconds and the main purpose is to hit the witch with our player so just run into it and we're also creating a score um score text at the top left to show how many times you hit the witch so the first thing whenever we hit a wall or boundary this bottom line represents our wall boundary and then this perpendicular line is just going to show like this angle so when we enter uh with our character and hit the wall at this angle which is um theta and then we hit this wall at this angle we're gonna bounce out at the same angle perpendicular to the wall so that's basically just gonna be the main concept um of how we're gonna change the player's angle once we hit the wall so these two angles are the same so the first thing we want to do is check if we have hit the boundary so boundary checking if player dot x coordinate is greater than 200 since 200 is the x coordinate of the right wall or player dot x coordinate less than negative 200 since negative 200 is the x coordinate of the left wall then we want to set the heading like where the player is headed 180 minus player dot heading right now so let's just run this to see what happens when we hit the right wall if we hit this yeah we see we bounced off this wall and if we hit the bottom nothing happens but if we hit the left wall we change the angle again right now that we've set the left and right, we want to set the top and bottom. So if player dot y coordinate is greater than 200 or player dot x oops, y coordinate is less than negative 200, then player dot set the heading to 360 minus player dot heading. Again, this 200 represents the top um, y coordinate this y this negative 200 represents the bottom uh, wall as y coordinate so now that we've basically created our boundaries and or actually let me run this first to show you guys oops let's see what happened y coordinate parentheses yeah When we hit this bottom boundary, we bounce off, and this top boundary, we should bounce off. And yep, all four uh, walls work. So if I just let it, you know, move by itself, it should just, you know, keep bouncing off the walls. So now that we've basically created our boundaries, we want to create the witch, the enemy. So um yeah, we could just create the witch above this player create witch and we want to first we want to register uh shape image so what this does turtle dot register shape so our main player's shape is a triangle is just going to be an isosceles triangle we want to set a new shape as, um, in my case, it's images dot images that's rich dot gif or gif, and then this this is just gonna be the image that we use for the witch. You can use a different image. 
uh, you probably don't even have this, so you can go online and find an image to download. And now that we've created our shape, we want to create the witch turtle. So witch is equal to turtle dot turtle, which is just a new turtle pen. Set the shape to before. Just to this. And we could let's raise it first. Set the speed of the witch to zero. And set the position. So since we raised it, when we set the position, it's not gonna draw anything to 150, 150. Now a witch should pop up in the top right of our box. And yeah, it's right there. So there's just a little witch. And then what we should happen next is after every three seconds, the witch's position uh, randomly changes. You know, since it's a witch and it's a magical. Ooh. Now, also when we hit the witch with this, arrow or character, we want to increase our score, so we're going to be doing that now. Uh, how we want to check if the witch, if the witch's time, or how long a witch stays in a certain position is using another module called time, so import the time module, and every single time, or three seconds passes, we want to change the witch's position. So we can have time initial is equal to time dot time. This is gonna be the initial time when the program runs. And then if so time to time is just the time when this line runs. So if time dot time, the current time when this line runs, minus time initial is greater than equal to three. Then we want to change the x and y coordinates so for the x coordinate we want to have a random one we don't want to just set the coordinate to like 100 because then we'll know where the witch is every single time so how we set a random coordinate is using another module and this is going to be the last module of this project import random so x is equal to random dot rand int so this is basically just how you set up a random number and then between negative 180, 180. So the random x coordinate is going to be between these two points. So let me show you. Since we want we want it as 180, as negative 180, 180, because you know this which does take up some space from left to right. If we have it exactly at 200, it's going to be on this line. And then some of the witch is going to be outside, so we don't want that. Uh, we want to set the y position to the same thing, random dot random int, negative 180, 180. Uh, we can set the position to the x and y coordinates. And then we want to reset the time, so time 0 is equal to time dot time. So we want to set the time, we want to change the time to the current time, again. So it's not always, right. so this isn't always happening. Now we want to see if the witch's position, or actually, let me, let's run this. And then we can wait three seconds to see what happens. One, two, three, one, two, three. See, so basically every three seconds, this witch's position changes, which is good. And if you want to make it more challenging, you could do something like two seconds, one second even if you want, but we could set up three seconds for now. Or even to make it like easier, something like five, or even ten seconds. Um, We want now to check if our character has touched or hit the witch. So if player dot x coordinate minus which dot x coordinate is less than twenty, 
and player dot y coordinate minus which dot y coordinate is less than 25. Then we want to uh, first add first we want to um uh, change the witch's position if we hit it because if we hit the witch the witch we don't want it to stay in the same place obviously but actually what will happen here if we just leave like this we want to find the absolute value since the witch's x coordinate could be greater than the player's x coordinate and then this will just be um uh not what we want so we could have or i mean the player's x coordinate could be like a lot greater than the witch's x coordinate so we want to find the absolute value of these two as well as the absolute value of this and then we could basically just again change this like change the witch's uh, position so you know we could just do that just copy and paste from this time let's run the program okay so I'm trying to hit the witch I, I think I hit that it's moving around I hit it and it suddenly changed position hit it again hit it again which is good hit it again now if we miss if we miss if we miss it's gonna change position automatically but if we hit it then it immediately changes position even if three seconds has not reached yet so when we hit it we want to add to a score so we want to create a score the score is equal to zero and then score pen score pen is equal to turtle dot turtle is going to be a new pen and then score pen dot speed is zero so whenever we want to move it it's going to get there instantly score pen dot color let's change the color to black to make it more readable when we write something and then score pen dot up since we want to change the position so if we change the position or set position of the score pen then we don't want it to draw so negative 200 210 so this should be in the top left of our box and score pen dot right the score so score uh s score all right score pen dot by turtle and let's see when we run this we have the score on the top left when i on this when i hit this you notice that the score does not increase since we have not technically increased the score in our code so we will do that but you see how it says score zero on the top left And actually, let's just do it. So, inside of our collision, if, if the player hit the um, witch, we want to increment the score by one. So, score is equal to the previous score plus one. So if the previous score was zero, now it's going to be one. If the player collides, so this is um, collision checking. This piece of code is collision checking, and then score pen score pen dot clear to clear the previous score, and then score pen dot write the new score so we're going to write the new score basically score okay so what this percent s does is 
that it takes this score value and writes it inside the string even though it is a variable. So when we run this, so let's see, okay. The score is zero, and then I'm trying to hit or hit the which I missed. Apparently, I missed again. Well, what the? Okay, <laughs> got you. I hit him. I, I hit the witch two, twice, three times, four times, five. You see, my score is increasing every single hit, every single time I hit the witch, and yep. And then every single time I hit the witch, it also automatically changes the position, even though three seconds has not passed. And if I just let it go, yeah, every three seconds the witch should move on its own. Great. So this is the witch hunt game where basically you control a turtle and you hunt a witch. And then that's going to be it for this game.